Hi, Mark Donnell here, and I am going to do a review of the K Mies Baritone Mahogany Ukulele. This is what came when I ordered it, and I want to thank K Mies for this opportunity to review this ukulele. First of all, I, this is the first time I had ever held a baritone ukulele. And so there was a certain amount of comfort in discovering that it had the traditional GCEA uh, strings on it. So I could pick it up and start playing using what I already knew from my soprano and, and uh, tenor and concert ukulele fingerings. Uh, before we're finished, I'll let you hear the baritone strings on it also. But I have three questions that I would ask if I was considering buying this ukulele. And the first one I would ask is, is it well made? So I scope it out and I check and it has uh, geared tuning, which I might add was, as I've been using it over the last week, has been maintaining its tuning really well. It's as usual, it takes a couple of days for it to kind of settle in. Um, it has Aquila strings and um, so once tuned, checking out the neck nice and straight, the body is made of a mahogany veneer. As I look inside, I see that it is well braced and uh, supported all around. I don't see anything loose rattling. And as a matter of fact, the only rattling I've ever experienced was because um, it was as I put my fingers down and got used to uh, the pressure that I needed to put on this. So that's number two. I would go to, is it easy to play? This ukulele is 30 inches and soprano ukuleles are much shorter and then they grow up through the uh, concert and the tenor and then they get to the, you get to the baritone which is kind of like a small guitar in size. Notice how it has this neat rounded body on it I like that. Um, so is it easy to play? I would say this is an easier instrument to play for bigger hands. Uh, if you like the sound, of course, you'll stretch your fingers out to get uh, to to allow them to play this 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 instrument. But yes, bigger hands make it easier to play. Uh, I have found that it takes a little bit more pr pressure to get the strings down than it did on some smaller ukuleles that I have played. Uh, how does it sound? Well, with these strings, it has a soft, mellow sound. pleasant. I think having this big body on it gives it a lot more room for resonance and mahogany veneer or not it does have a nice soft sweet sound with these Aquila strings on it. So hold on I'll come back in just a few moments with the with baritone strings on it and we'll find out what that sounds like. To be honest with you I've never held an instrument or played an instrument with baritone strings. So it's going to be an experience for both of us, for all of us. So back in a minute. Well, I just uh, strung my first ukulele. Never done this before. And of course now it's a, it's a, has baritone strings on it. D, G, Let's see, make sure I don't mess it up. D, G, B, E. And um, because I've just strung it, and it's going, it goes out of tune really quickly, but it's, the, let's, let me let you hear the sound.
the sound, as I hold the uke and, and play it, I can feel the sound reverberate from the neck all the way down here. It's, it's actually vibrating inside. It's, it's almost like it's filling up with sound. So uh, it's a really different feel and a, a rich, mellow sound that I, I really like. My goodness. So, whether you stay with the GCEA uh, strings that first come on it or get yourself another set um, that are DGBE, it's almost like having two completely different instruments. And uh, I must say, I love, I feel like I've been given a, uh, a gift in this, in this lower range because it's, it's, it's um, it just really fills up the sound of the instrument. So there you go. So thank you for listening. And uh, in just a second, I'll play you out.